So in Intermediate Tasker, we will be using a lot of different plugins like Auto Voice, Auto Shortcut. And as you can see, I've downloaded a lot of these and I'll leave those links down below and I highly recommend you download them. Some of them are paid, so it's up to you if you wanna go through with it, but they are necessary in this Intermediate uh, Guide. So if you wanna just do it now, go ahead. Otherwise, um, I don't know what to tell you. You won't be able to use or do most of this stuff uh, unless there's some of them might be free. Anyhow, uh, we'll be talking about auto voice today and I'll show you guys how to set that up. If you did not watch my video, I'll leave that link down below. I'm not going to go through the beginner stuff, so I'm not going to be explaining everything. I'm assuming that you guys watched that video. I will also leave that link down below. The first thing that we want to do is create a profile. I'm not going to, I'm not going to name the profile because that's up to you guys to do. We'll skip through that. And the first thing you want to do is select or push on state. Now we are using a plugin, so make sure that you push on plugin and this is the auto voice recognized, okay? Very easy set to set up. What we are going to do is we're going to say a command and trigger a task, okay? So in order to do that, go ahead and push on edit and we, we, what we need to do is push on event behavior and command filter. Command filter is going to be the command that we will be stating to trigger that task. In this case, we will be using hello, okay? Actually, I always like to keep it all lowercase, so it's up to you if you wanna do that. I think it works better. Anyhow, it may or may not work better. It's just me. <laughs> Go ahead and push on the, the uh, check mark, and you're basically done, almost. That's like the hardest part. After that, when you push on back, you attach that uh, command to trigger what task, what tasks do you want? You wanna, you know, I'm assuming that you guys have a couple of tasks already in there if you follow my beginner's guide. Or in this case, for the sake of the demo, we'll go ahead and do a new task. Again, I'm not gonna name it. We're just gonna move right through. And what we're going to do is do an alert. This is just to flash something on the screen to make sure that indeed it is working. So it's going to say hello. If you guys have never used Flash, not the actual Flash software, but use this tasker task, all it does is it flashes whatever you want. In this case, it's going to say hello, okay? That's basically it. Very easy, right? But we need to try it. In order to do that, um, I recommend, uh, right now I'm using um, Nova Launcher. So in order to do this, it makes it a lot easier if you just go ahead and push on shortcut. And then what we're going to do is do a task shortcut, okay? Now, oops, sorry, not task shortcut. Apologize for that. It's not a task shortcut. It is a recognize because it's auto voice. So now when I push on this, it'll bring up my command, okay? Now let's go ahead and try it. Hello. As you can see, it's these are the possible commands and it did work. Now, in order to get rid of the command toast, all you need to do is go into auto voice and then un un uh, check mark the receive command toast that you won't see that again. So I'll show you guys again. Hello. So now you just see the command. Pretty cool, right? Now, let me show you how auto voice is very forgiving. I could be talking how you see right now and I'll just all I all it needs to do is hear hello. And it works. So that's pretty cool, right? Now, let's just say that you needed to have several variations or uh, different commands. Let's go ahead and go back to Tasker. This is very important because sometimes you may want it, you may want to trigger it saying hi instead of hello. So this is very easy. Go back to that um, profile and under command filter, we're going to need to add a uh, Hold on, they're called pipes. There they are, right there. So we're gonna separate them by pipes. Hello, and then we're gonna do hi. And then if you wanna separate another one or add another word, we're gonna separate it by a pipe, okay? Make sure they're in parentheses too, the whole entire thing, okay? Hi, and then for the sake of this, we'll just do test, okay? And then make sure you close the parentheses. So we have parentheses, hello, pipe, hi, pipe, test. Okay, so if I say any of these three different words, it should trigger. Now, very important, if you're gonna use a lot of different types of words, you need to make sure that you um, push on use regex. Otherwise, it will not work. 
go ahead and push on a check mark. Go back. Let's go ahead and try it. Hi. Test. Hello. Beautiful. Okay, so you're probably wondering, okay, this is awesome. How do we get auto continuous voice to work now? Okay, this is not complicated, of course. It's really easy stuff once you get it. Actually, it should be beginners. Go ahead and jump into Tasker. Now, we're not going to do a profile. We're going to do a task. And this one you do have to name because tasks, you, you do, re if you're doing a task, you have to name it. So in this case, we're going to do auto voice. Okay. And then we're going to do on. Go ahead and uh, push OK. We're going to add an action. In this case, it's going to be a plugin. And we're going to do auto voice continuous. Push on edit. You can ignore that. And if it's check marked, that means it's going to turn on. Because you can imagine we have to do an on and off. Otherwise, you're not going to know or you're not going to be able to shut it off if it's on. So that's that's that right there. Go back. Okay. Now, I recommend, you don't have to do this, but otherwise you're not going to know if it's on. Because if, if I push this right now, it's going to turn on and it's not going to give you a notification. Go ahead and do a flash. And then just say... I'm listening or whatever you want. <laughs> I'm on. So that's it. Go ahead and hit back. And actually forgot one thing. Push here. We need to attach an icon. Go ahead and do a built-in icon. In this case, you can use whatever icon you want. I'm just going to pick this little bear right here. <laughs> and uh, that's it. Okay. So we have the little bear icon. Now, Again, using something like Nova, it makes it a lot easier because you just press down, add a shortcut, and then you could just do a task shortcut. In this case, we are going to do a task shortcut. The first one was a recognize. Now we're doing a task shortcut because what's a task shortcut? It is auto voice. Okay, that's it. So now when I push on the, the bear, it's going to turn auto voice on. But before we do that, let's create one in reverse to turn it off. Okay, so basically it's going to be the same exact same steps, but in this case we're going to uncheck or not check the auto continuous. So same thing, new task. We're going to do, oops, auto voice. Oh, can't spell right now. Let's just do it the, the manual way. Auto voice off. Okay, add action, plug in, auto voice continuous, edit. Close. Don't push on that. That's just started. So we're okay. We just want to make sure. Go back. Add an icon. Built-in icon. In this case, we'll use the panda bears off. Okay. Add a new uh, alert. In this case, I'm going to do I am off. And I'm I know I'm going a little fast on this, but believe me, once you get it, it's, it's very easy. Okay. Go back. Done. Go back to Nova. Add a shortcut, task shortcut, auto voice off. Okay. So we have the regular bear that turns it on and panda that turns it off. Let's go ahead and try it. So now it's listening. Hello. Hello. Hi. Test. I'm off. Hello. Hello. Okay. That's it. Pretty simple stuff, right? That is auto voice and auto continuous. A lot of fun. You can do a lot of different things. It's mainly what, whatever you want. So the best thing to do guys is when you're setting this up, um, look at all of the possibilities that you can do when, when triggering a task. So I'm just going to walk through really quick. I'm not going to go through every single one of them, but you know, just look at here, alert, you know, take a look at app. You can load a specific app. You can kill an app just by saying a command, you know, so, you know, audio, you can, you know, you could just say speakerphone on and then boom, the speakerphone turns on, you know, move the volume, silent mode. I mean, there's so many things you should just look in here and, and the possibilities are endless. 
uh, display. What if you what if you wanted to set the display at a certain amount? You know, so what what if your command is set display to fifty percent? Boom, turn key guard off or change the wallpaper. Can you imagine? That's pretty cool, right? You could just say Batman wallpaper, boom, and then you get a Batman wallpaper in the back. So the idea is that you have you set this up to however you want, and that's basically it. And it's a lot of fun. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video and stay tuned for uh, more intermediate stuff. I know this has seemed really easy but once you understand it it's everything is easy even the hard stuff becomes easy so anyhow guys uh enjoy and see you in the next video adios